In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an audio player to your Shopify store. Unfortunately, since Shopify doesn't support this functionality, what we need to do is use a third-party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the Elfsight platform. Once you've clicked on the link, this is the page that you're going to land on. From here, I want you to go to the navigation menu of the page and there you will find this widgets button right here. From here, simply hover over the button and then if you go down a bit, you will see the audio section right here and then underneath that, you will see audio player. Click on that and then this is going to take you to the audio player widgets page. From here, if you scroll down a bit more, you will see create widget for free and then click on that and then you'll be taken to the audio player template section. Now on the left hand side here, you will see the different audio players available and then on the right hand side, you will see the actual preview of what each of these uh, templates is going to look like on your Shopify store. Now if you take a look uh, even further on the right hand side here, you will also see mobile view. So if you click on that, this will give you an idea of what each template is going to look like on a mobile device. So go ahead and choose the one that you like the most. In my case, I think I'm going to go for this music playlist here because it looks super nice and clean and it kind of wraps around the entire website, which is something that I want for my side. So once you have selected a template, go ahead and click on continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. And I do also want to mention that the design here that you see of the templates is not final because in this section now we can customize it to our liking. So the first thing we can customize uh, when it comes to our audio player is obviously the tracks. So as you can see here, this template comes with a bunch of tracks that are added by default. So you can easily add tracks that you want and remove tracks that you no longer wish to be featured on your audio player so for example to remove a track simply go ahead and click on these three dots here and then delete uh, you can also move the tracks around like this uh, to add new tracks click add track here and then choose where you want to source the track from a bunch of different options uh, that you can choose from here as well now once you've added all the tracks that you want to have on your audio player on the left hand side here you also see layout now, uh, in terms of layout, you have embed and floating. You can also have a uh, position here, bottom center, top right, uh, top left, etc. Just like this, for example. I'm actually going to go for this one. I know it takes a lot of space, but this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter for me. You can also change the width and a bunch of other things. This is the actual player, so this is where you can like remove or add certain functionality. So, for example, track controls, as you can see, very easy to customize. And then style, of course, accent color, make it, I don't know, yellow if you wanted to. And by the way, any changes that you make on the left-hand side here will automatically reflect in real time on the right-hand side. That way you can see the changes as you make them. Once you're ready with your widget, go ahead and click on Add to Website for free in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. And then your widget will be saved in a couple of seconds. Then what we need to do from here is simply publish the widget. So go ahead and click on Publish in the top right corner of the screen. And then this will take us to the Plans section. Now this is where we need to choose a plan. Now, since this is the first widget that we are creating from Elfside, we can actually go for the free plan right here as it supports one widget. However, if you want to unlock more functionalities or if you want to use more than one widget on your Shopify store from Elfside, then you can always go for one of the premium plans right here. As you can see, they have quite a few ones that uh, you can go with. In my case, though, I'm going to go for the free plan for this tutorial. Then you'll be taken to this page right here, which is where we need to copy the code for our widget. So go ahead and click on copy code and then let's head over to Shopify so we can integrate it. As you can see, I'm already in my uh, Shopify editor. So what we need to do now is add a new section here. So I'm going to add mine in the actual template section. It doesn't actually matter whether it's in a footer header or anywhere else because it's already pre-coded to be in a certain place from the customization that you set in Elfside. So in my case, I'm just going to go here, add section, scroll down a bit until we find custom liquid here. Click on that and then you will see the custom liquid section added. Click on it again and then you'll see this box here. Simply paste the code we copied previously from Elfside, give it a couple of seconds and then your audio player will automatically be added uh, to your Shopify store and this is what it looks like and as you can see it works I'm not going to play any music from it um, just in case of copyright but uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's how to add an audio player to your Shopify store if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out